The workshops that I'm attending here in Ethiopia are looking at how music can be used, particularly by musicians in their own community. My songwriting back in the UK is very much born out of traditions and ways of writing songs in my context, but I'm fascinated by hearing how other cultures use these skills to reach people, to talk to people about their faith. I get to collaborate with these musicians, sharing our traditions and understanding each other's cultures and maybe creating some new material around it. A few days into the training and it has been fantastic to share stories and history and common ground with the musicians uh, from the Gamo people. For some great stories, some very sad where they've been discouraged from using their music, their traditional instruments and told that that's not compatible with their faith, but yet some really positive stories where churches that they're part of has really encouraged that. During the session so far, I've really learned how important it is for people who don't necessarily have the whole of the Bible in their language to look at all kinds of ways to communicate that message. And music is such a powerful thing, it can bypass a lot of barriers. The Gamo musicians have a lot of talent and they're putting together these songs to tell stories about God's Word uh, to people whose only way of, of hearing it, it might be through the songs. I think one of the things that struck me most this week was just how much these Gamo musicians felt prohibited culturally to use their own language when they were expressing their faith. And to see that transformed over the course of five days to a place where they knew that it was absolutely what God had given them to do, to use their own language to write music, to share their faith with other people, that was just really, really amazing. It's been a privilege to share so much with these musicians, not just their musical skills, but something of their lives and their background as well. It was a beautiful place, just the most incredible scenery and wildlife. The setting was extraordinary and her family welcomed us and shared everything that they had with us. And then once we'd had our food, we, we actually danced and sang with them and you could tell that they were so proud of what Miskana had achieved this week. For me to stand beside her father while Miss Gana sang her songs in front of him was a really special moment. It's been wonderful to see how natural it is uh, for the musicians to use their gifts just to worship God and to express their faith and uh, it's been a marvel and a wonder to see it. A real affinity I think with a lot of traditional music back, uh, back in the British Isles. Being here in Ethiopia, the sights, the sounds, the smells, the people um, has been an extraordinary experience. So the creative process this time around has been slightly different. Um, if this makes any sense, I've kind of been listening with fresh eyes because I've seen lots of new things. Listening to the way the Gamo expressed their faith, uh, their joy through the music they were writing, that's really encouraged me 
when I've been thinking about the songs that I wanted to write. Using some of the songs that they sang, the way that they sing, the kind of sense of community when they get together and deliver their performance, all those things played into my thinking. The overwhelming sense that I have making these songs come to life is that sense of gratitude for being out there and having had the experience of working with the Gamo, seeing what they saw and experiencing their joy as they realised it's a great thing, it's a, it's a blessed thing, it's a God-given thing to sing and to play music in your own language. These words that are the very breath of God. Before I went out on this trip, I hoped that some of the music I might write would convey something of the heritage and the culture of the people that we were going to meet. In some ways, I hope that we've achieved that by fusing some of the music we've recorded and putting it together with some of the music that I've written. Is God given? I also hope that this music will give people a chance to walk in the shoes of the Gamo for a little while. Appreciate the aesthetic of the place that we were in. It was a very beautiful country. But also just appreciate some of the wonder and the joy that they approach life with and the richness of their culture and tradition. Your way of singing your way of playing is God-given